Tony MacDonald. And our special guest is a Premier League winner. Cannonball. 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 It's not what you do, it's how you do. Be anything you want to be. It's not what you got, it's how you use it. You be you and I'll be me, it's just a matter of style. Yes, we're delighted to welcome ex-Ireland international Jeff Kenna to Soccer Republic this week. Uh, Jeff, you're very welcome. Now, first of all, I want to clear up a misconception that I believe might be out there, that only five Republic of Ireland internationals have ever won a Premier League player. It is, of course, six, and you're the sixth. But uh, you joined Blackburn Rovers late that season as they were on the run into that title, didn't you? That's right, yeah. I signed for them in the March. Um, there was nine games left, and I think officially you're supposed to play ten games to receive the medal. Uh, but there was only nine games left, so uh, the club organised it that I got a medal and I was only too happy to take it. Yeah, and you played in every single one of those games. You, you came into a particularly good Blackburn squad at that time, didn't you? They really were full of quality. Yeah, it was fantastic. I mean, half the England team was playing uh, for Blackburn Rovers then at the time, which I don't think will ever happen again. Um, but yeah, you had the likes of Lissau, Batty, Shearer, obviously. You had Chris Sutton, uh, Ripley. You know, it was Tim Flowers in goal, so it, the, the pedigree was fantastic at the time. Yeah, and they had been there thereabouts in the previous couple of seasons, then won it that season. But four seasons after winning the title, Jeff, uh, Blackburn Rovers were relegated. Their demise came as a surprise to many. I mean, what was going on at the club in the four years before relegation? Well, after winning the title, Kenny uh, moved upstairs to allow yeah. Ray Harford to become manager. Um, and that didn't go according to plan, and it seemed to sort of all unravel after that. There was a, a series of managers then came in, um, just on a, a short tenure really, as it turned out, uh, which ultimately culminated in us being relegated. Mm -hmm. After you finished your playing career in England, you, you came back over to Ireland and you managed with Galway United and St. Patrick's Athletic. Uh, what do you make of the League, ex uh, League of Ireland experience you had? Uh, I have to say I loved it. I really did enjoy it. Um, Highs and lows, uh, obviously highs at Galway, staying up on the last day of the season was a, a, a really good achievement by everybody at the club, the players, mm -hmm. the fans, the staff, everything, it was a, a really great feeling. Uh, and then mixed emotions at Pats, uh, won a few, lost a few, had a decent run in Europe, but ultimately it didn't, uh, it didn't go anywhere near as well as I would have liked. Yeah, it must have been difficult as well because your family remained in England during that time, didn't they? Yes. Um, I mean, the, the thing is, is the life of a, a manager can be very short. Yeah. So uh, to uproot the girls from school and to bring the, the whole family over, we just felt at the time it wasn't right. Uh, and that proved the right decision in the end. Um, but yeah, it wasn't ideal. And I think looking back, maybe the, the league was just sort of on a downward spiral a little bit then. You know, there was uh, problems financially and um, obviously clubs went to the wall then a little bit after I'd gone. and. So it, it's just, in hindsight, maybe the wrong time for me to get involved. Right. Just in relation to your international experience, you came into the Irish side, a particularly strong Irish side, just after the 94 World Cup. You made your debut against Portugal, a 1-0 win against a very, very talented Portugal team on the day. But that must have been quite an experience for you. Yeah, it was, um, it was great. I was, I was really pleased. Um, I was in the squad for the England game, um, uh, which obviously all the troubles happened and, and that didn't, uh, I didn't, didn't make the pitch. Um, but to get on against Portugal was fantastic. I had all my family in the, the stand and it was a very proud moment for me. So uh, I was really pleased. Yeah, I'm sure it was enjoyable under Jack, but his tenure wasn't to last too much longer. You won most of your caps under Mick. What was the yeah. difference between the, the two heirs, Jack and Mick? Uh, I mean, Jack was very relaxed about everything. You know, there was uh, training was very relaxed. <laughs> uh, we heard that. It was, yeah, all the stories are true. Um, but what he did have is he, he had that uh, ability to get everybody together, to galvanise everybody. Yeah. Everybody knew their jobs, um, how we played, uh, what was expected in certain areas of the pitch. Um, and it, it made life very easy, certainly for me. You know, if, if I was up near the opponent's box, I had to cross the ball. That was, that was it. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't too difficult in that respect. Um, Mick came in then, and I, I got most of my caps, as you say, under Mick. Uh, and he, 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 was, he was different, he just he instilled a few rules, you know, uh, wanted the lads to be trained a little bit more. Um, 
and he, he obviously brought his his own style to the, the team. Uh, but um, both good managers, in my yeah. And all in all, it must have been an enjoyable time. You were involved in three qualifying campaigns, and that all resulted in playoffs that the Republic didn't didn't make it in the end. Yes, yeah. I mean, looking back, that's probably if if I wanted to have a regret, yeah, not that would be it. Not getting to a, a major championships, but. I, I can't complain, you know, I, I'm very fortunate. I feel very fortunate to have got the amount of caps that I did mm. um, with the quality of fullbacks. Yeah. You just at that time, there just seemed to be so many good, top quality fullbacks around. So I feel very fortunate to have got the number of caps I did. Uh, so it was, it was great. Yeah. Okay, Jeff, it's great to see you, and Jeff is going to stay with us.